Um, can you guys hear me? I started talking. Um, for our panelists, just give us a minute. Um, the guys on our back end are checking the YouTube link for the challenge. I think they have fixed it now. So you guys can hear me loud and clear, right? Are you media? Has it been fixed? Yes, YouTube has been fixed, and we can move on now. Okay, great. Thank, okay, you, great. So Thank you so much. Um, for everyone joining in, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, technology can have its um, challenges sometimes, especially at such a um, um, beautiful event that we're about to have. Uh, notwithstanding that, um, we are moving ahead. Our tech team has um, helped us resolve the issue. So, um, Mr. Collins, from Baobab, please. The floor is yours. So sorry for the for the time, but um, they have been fixed. The guys on the people on YouTube could not hear us for a moment, and so we had to try and quickly solve that. Uh, Mr. Collins. Okay, no problem, sir. Uh, good afternoon once again. I think this evening already. Good evening once again. So as I uh, said, so I'm trying to introduce my company. And I said I'm from Baba Microfinance Bank. And Baba is a, is a multinational finance institution founded in 2005 by Planet, Planet Finance. We have affiliates all over Africa. We have in, of course, here in Nigeria, we have in Madagascar, Senegal, Tunisia, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, DRC Congo, Tunisia, Mali. We also have in China and all that. Our general head office is in Paris, France. Our corporate our African head office is in Dakar, Senegal. We came to Nigeria in 2009. We started as microcred. However, later we, we started in Kaduna. Seven years later, we obtained a national license that enabled us to move to all the 36 states of the Federation. In 2018, we changed our name from Baobab, sorry, from microcred to Baobab to reflect our new identity. And since we've been getting Baobab in Nigeria, we currently have more than 30, 30 branches. We have in Lagos, we have in Ibadan, we have in Kwara State, we have in Abuja, we have in Kaduna, of course, that's where we started from. We have in Ninja State, we have in Just, like that. Then our journey so far, we we, are, we started as an incorporated unit microfinance, which I've explained before. From a unit bank, we obtained a state license. From state license to a national license, currently as we speak, we have license to operate all over the federation, like I've explained before. Our staff strength, we have almost 700 staffs. We have over 300,000 customer base. Then our loan customers are a little above 30 million, 30,000 rather. Our loan disbursement as at last month, we've disbursed over 140 billion naira. Our total deposits to at 15 billion as we speak now. Permit me to add, we've, we are also one of the very few microfinance that have met, that have met the CBN recapitalization of 5 billion. As a last one also, our, our capitalization or our deposit base is 5.78 billion. We, of course, we are CBN regulated. Our internal auditors, our external auditors rather are PWC. We are also NDIC insured and, and all that. Our Baba Group, like I said, the Baba Group is a global network owned by Planet Finance. We provide financial services to the unserved and underserved. We have over 425 
financial entrepreneurs in our loan group and over 4,000 to 5,000 employees generally. The vision, what are the vision of Baobab Nigeria? Our vision is to be the preferred financial partners, helping customers, stakeholders, and communities achieve their full potentials in Nigeria. Of course, we have a mission, and our mission is to build customers' loyalty, increase shareholders' value and employee satisfaction by providing innovative products and services in Nigeria. Our core values are simplicity, we are as simple as possible, proximity, we are very, very close to our clients, our customer base. We are creative, we are reliable, of course, we are vitality, we pump life to our customers. We are also transparent. Transparency, these are very core value. Our social mission is job creation, transfer of technical know-how to staff, contribute to industry, consolidation and professionalism. Poverty and education, very, very important. Financial services to the unbanked and underbanked, very, very important as well. We have a couple of awards, but the most recent is the Business Day Award, which we won earlier this year as the MSC, MSME Microfinance Bank of the Year. So we are the medium, small scale, and micro enterprise bank of the year. That is, this is like our own Grammy for everybody that covers a financial institution. Bank and other financial institution award is like our own Grammy. And Baba won the MSME Microfinance Bank of the Year. We have other awards which time might not permit me to go into. We, of course, the African brand most innovative money lending platform of the year in 2022. We won that one. The Business the MFE Bank have said that. The is the best employer in training contribution in Cardinal 2001. We won that. These are the most recent of all our awards. African brand most innovative money lending platform of the year, award 2022. Then, great place to work certification 2022. We pride ourselves in having the, one of the most conducive working atmosphere and environment. What are our products? Are we, like I said initially, or like we are all aware, we offer financial services. We have savings and deposits. We also do loans and advances. We also have digital channels. We do transfers. We also do insurance. Our product and service offering credit. We offer highly customized mini micro loans Micro loans and SME credit facility ranging from 20,000 Naira to 50 million Naira. Loans can be granted as little as 72 hours, that's three days. Interest rates are very competitive with flexible tenors ranging from one to 24 months, depending on your needs. Retail offering our retail offering include current accounts, savings account, and fixed deposit, which allows our clients to gain attractive interest rates. Insurance also, we do insurance, we make provision for loan insurance to cater for unforeseen risk and all that. Transfer services, we provide accessibility by enabling the transfer of funds within Baobab Nigeria to third party banks. I've said this before, we give from 20,000 to 50 million within 72 hours. Trust me, I'm not kidding when I say so. We also have our housing loan. We assist clients who, are, who have housing projects they want to carry on by providing soft and cheap loans for them. We also have our digital channel. We have ATMs. We also have POS. Permit me to also add, this year, we are one of the only three banks selected by the federal government to disburse their national youth empowerment fund all over the federation, which is another testament to our ability and our capability. We also engage in corporate social responsibilities, very key. We do as little as, I don't want to say as much as we can, as little as resources and time can permit. We visit schools, orphanages, markets, or that we provide communities or we bore hold. We stock some laboratory for schools and all that. These are some of the things we do. We also have what we call customer forum, which we do at least twice a year, where we have an interactive section with our customers. We hear them, we get feedback from them to help us also improve our business because we are here 
to serve them. And of course, we also award our outstanding customers. We have gifts and other things we do for them as the slide show. So we are very visible. We have our contact details on the screen. For those of us that might be, that we want to ask, how do I reach you guys and all that? So we have 070 00 for those that want to call us. Our email customer care, Nigeria at baobabgroup.com. Also have our website, www.baobabgroup.com slash ng. So we have our head office in Kaduna, Amadou Belewe, 16E to be precise. Then our HQ Annex is in Lagos, Muritala Mohamedwe Yaba, number 360 also. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, Mr. Collins. That was a wonderful presentation. Uh, we're going to put together every question that comes in from now to um, about 10, 15 minutes time, and then we would um, send them over to you. Thank you so much for the presentation. So right about now, we are going to have the farms. Farms, are we still together? Are we still here? Um, no, no, no. Um, so sorry for you to cut in. I just spoke with them. Um, D farms were actually uh, actually um, an invited group. They were not scheduled to speak, but the resource person um, has just called in and he'll be joining in soon. But in the meantime, can we get questions from the audience that we can ask for to Baobab and then he can give us. Um, cogent answers. I have about two or three. So to um, kickstart the conversation, um, um, I know you sent us, um, you know, your, your, your requirements and list, which we have not shared, you know, with the participant until we're ready after this um, um, webinar, we would give to all those who attended and everything. So what is it like? What are the pros? Can you give us like a process as to maybe a farmer that wants to expand his farm and needs, um, let's say, five million. Let us let us make it conversational. What are the processes that that person must do, you know, to then access um, five million? And you know, um, what are what are what are involved, and are there any leeways to some of these things? Okay, I'm gonna be very direct. First of all, to qualify for our loan, you must have a business. When I say business, it might be you should have a need for it. Maybe you're into production, services, trade, or whatsoever. Then in your business, you must have been in that business also for at least 12 months. That's a year. You must also have been in your location for at least 12 months as well. These are the basic. If all these requirements are met, or if you tick all the boxes correctly, then depending on the size and nature of your business, I've said it before, we give from 20 to 50 million. We have a lot of clients who are into agro product, agro light, and other, those are those cashew import, um, exportation, those are into timber, those that do pre grid poultry and all that. Then, so what you need, if you take the initial bosses I raised, you need for oh, do basic KYC. You provide us a passport photograph, a valid ID, and your utility. You provide us two guarantors to give us passport ID and utility as well. Then you provide what we call a co-debtor. Some people call it next of kin. Those so these are that co-debtor should be a family relative or uh, maybe spouse for those that are married or a very close relative for. Those maybe that don't have, that are not married or however, because we don't actually discriminate. So if we have these things, you also give us your bank statement for those that have bank statement. I understand not everybody has bank statement, but if you have, it makes the job easier as well. But if you don't have, that doesn't exclude you. We also look at it, we see what we can do. So these are the basic requirements. Then of course our loans are collateralized. But we have very soft and flexible collateral depending on the amount you are willing you wanted to assess. So for someone taking two million, three million, 
So maybe your equipment can stand. We don't even, we don't take it. You don't need to come and deposit it with us. Maybe you just give us evidence of ownership and you, how will I put it? You keep it reserved for the tenor of the loans. These are basic things we do and it's standard practice. So there are not things that are outrageous or difficult or out of the moon. Thank you. I don't know if I correctly answered your question. Um, thank you so much, um, um, Bob. Wow, I think that you know fully answers the question. Um, another question from me is: Are there any? Do you guys do Baobab have any sectoral preferences? You know, traditional banks, you know, try to be um, discriminating sometimes, and they have sectoral preferences. That's okay. We are not investing here. We are not giving loans here. Can we say that for Baobab, all sectors are open when it comes to um, funding access? Uh, yes, if you recollect our key clients or our target are the unbanked and underbanked sector of the economy. So we we want to, we want to do something different from the conventional banking system. Okay. So I think, so that is even our main uh, major focus. However, there must be a- Hello, business. sir, we can't hear you anymore. Ah, sorry, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I'm not sure it's from my side. I can hear you now. Can hear you now. Okay. Sorry, where did I stop? Where did you stop hearing me? You just started to answer the question. Okay, let me just run through. Okay, like I said, as if you go through our program profile, you see that our core targets. Hello, are, sir, can you hear me? Sir, I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you now. You went off a bit. Okay. So like I was saying, I said our targets client are the underbanked and unbanked, or if I might put it another way, the underserved and the unserved sector of the economy. So we try to do something different from the conventional traditional banks. We look at those that don't have direct access to financial services and try to bridge the gap between they and funding for their business. However, for you to access our loan, you must have a an existing business, a running business per se. Our loan is not a consumption loan. Maybe you just need loan to feed and all that. But if you have a business that is up and running with viable means of repayment, of course, why not? We, we serve you. All right, thank you so much. Already we're beginning to have um, interesting questions from the audience is on YouTube. Um, the first person says that what is the interest rate for loans? Okay. Hello? Yes. Yes, can you go on, sir? Okay, we, we don't have a specific interest rate. However, be rest assured, our rates are very competitive. Why I say we don't have specific interest rate is depending on the amount you want to assess, we have different rates for different, different amounts. So we have from 2.5% to 5%, depending on the loan amount you are looking at and the tenure. So I can tell you this is you know, it's not a fixed rate for all loan amounts. Of course, you agree with me, somebody assessing 20,000 and somebody assessing 50 million will not take loan on the same rate. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Really, very wonderful answer. Um, someone has just asked, you know, as part of you know the discussion we had, you know, that these were our customers. So somebody is saying that, how can they access the loans through Afrimash? Okay, um, Baobab and Afrimash are working towards a partnership. I think that was one of the things I gave birth to this webinar. When we well, by the time we conclude, Afrimash can stand as a referrer or a referencing. 
So then maybe they introduce the client to us. Of course, we attend to our clients individually. Of course, we can walk in something where maybe our firmers will have to vent them and guarantee them. But it makes the process seamless and a little bit faster. So when we conclude that we Afrimas, we can channel it through Afrimas where we, there's not like a third party or let's like say a referral scheme. They refer clients to Baobab, which we give priority to and treat expressly. Thank you. All right, thank you so much sir, for that. Uh, a quick follow up to um, that answer for the person who asked this on YouTube, if you are listening and you're hearing me, thank you for your question. And, you know, like we have said in the first um, um, time around that by the end of this month, we would have solidified all partnerships with um, our partner, our financial partner, and we will give you the full information on how to go about accessing um, loan facilities through Afrimash when the time is ready. And please do not also forget, let me chip this in if you are listening to my voice, that you can only be granted this opportunity if you are a paid member of the Afrimash membership plan. We have a membership plan which um, we have been sharing to all of you, our customers, and we thank you for some of you who have joined our membership plan. And uh, um, we look forward to... Um, helping you scale and grow in the nearest future. Um, thank you so much, uh, um, Mr. Collins from Baobab. Uh, there are still more questions. I don't know. Are you open to getting more questions, uh, Mr. Collins? Uh, yeah, I don't know how many. I'm Mr. On... Collins, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, I don't know how many. Okay, let, let's just have. do it. A... Well, we can run. We can run. Yeah, let's just do Okay, um, the, uh, let's just run through some of them and then we'll call it a day for you. Um, okay, so I'll leave over to Finyi. So that um, Finyi, over. Thank you very much, sir. One of the questions here, a farmer says, um, farmer who wants to expand and does not have collateral, how can they assess the funding without collateral. And um, yes, basically talking about farmers who wish to expand, questioning about collateral, you know, for someone who, who owns a backyard farm and wishes to expand, does not have collateral to um, present for the loan. Okay. Um, no, sometimes when we talk of collateral, people think you must have a house in Banana Island, or you must have a private jet to stand as collateral. Depending on the loan amount, your household equipment stands as, can stand as collateral. Your TV, your television, your radio sets can stand as collateral. For a farmer, some of us have equipment. You can use that as collateral. We, don't, we are not depriving you of using it. You just domicile the document with us. You also made mention of farm. The farm is a place. You Once you have complete document for it. It can stand as collateral. You don't need to start running a task. And again, if at all you feel you don't have, you can get somebody to pledge on your behalf. So we are that flexible. So it must not mean you must go to BGC or Ikoi to acquire a property before you can assess facility from Baobab. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I'd like to believe our viewers um, understand the answer to that question. Lastly, um, or, well, maybe not last question, but at least for now, um, what's the processing time for farmers that own poultry farms and wish to assess this loan? They, well, a, a number of them are poultry farmers with um, small farms. And um, well, with the time lag within how between how the, uh, their collateral getting their collateral and assessing the loan, what's the time frame, give or take? Okay, operationally, we have a seventy-two hours mandate if all your documents are complete. So for you, for we to help you, you need to help us. Once your documentations are complete, and what are these documentations? I've said it before. They are not something out of the blue. ID card, 
passport, photograph, utility. When we say ID card, we mean any valid means of identification, voter's card, national ID card, driver's license, international passport. They can stand as ID card. So they are as simple as that. Utility, of course, all of us have one or two utility that we get. If it might not be never be some people say, what of my area, there's no light and all that. You pay security bill, you pay levies. Even if you don't have that, you can always walk around it. So this is another rocket science. Passport photograph. Of course, everybody should have a passport. This is a digital world. With your phone, you can snap yourself and go to business center with 200 naira and print these things. So these things are not something out of the blues. They are not something difficult to get. Then bank statement for those of us that have, then those of us that have that businesses are registered, we need photocopies of the document, not even the original. We might need the original for citing, but the photocopy will take. So you can even snap on your phone and send to us and we do our validation, our verification and all that. So these things are not that difficult. If we have all these things, 72 hours, believe you me, is even too, too much. Thank you. All right, thank you very okay, much. Thank you. Thank you, Bell. Oh, no, no, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Um, please, can you? Yeah, the questions are, um, for now, the questions have ceased, and I'm pretty sure we're going to put some together before the end of the meeting so that um, our customers will be. Oh, okay. All questions. Answer All right. Again. So just carry on for now. All right. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, um, Mr. Collins. It was really um, interesting to um, have you on board. Um, thank you for having our questions. Um, DFAM says, can the loan process and the application be posted? Uh, DFAM, um, not yet, um, per se, because um when the time comes we want to have these customers go through afrimash kind of so it will not be posted here but we can have a conversation about this um later after the webinar um thank you so much mr collins it was really great having you here and uh, we look forward to a wonderful partnership and you helping our customers to scale and grow um in their business Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so very Any much. Any award from you? Okay. Thank right. God. When you may want to. Thank you. Mr. Adeyemi Oluwashi. Mr. Adeyemi Oluwashi, can you yes, please sir. mute your... Okay. Um, Thank you so much, Mr. Collins. Um, you can still stay till the end of the webinar or, you know, there are more questions that will be coming and uh, maybe we'll get to say final words. Thank you so much. And um, I would like to introduce Mr. Aki Fatoki. Um, if you are still here on the YouTube and you asked your questions, um, at this point, we, we will just take a small um, time to say, Thank you. I hope you have learned enough from uh, Baobab. Um, we'll be sharing his slides to you after this webinar so that you can know more. And um, your questions, should you still have them, you can put them on the YouTube chat and then um, it will be asked here. Thank you so much for your attendance. We do not take you for granted. And uh, it is our hope to help you scale and grow by introducing you to concepts and realities and you know financial partners that can help you scale and grow now we are moving on to the next panelist who will take us on farm management what it means to actually manage a farm the things that you should look out for the things that you should do or not do um uh, in no short a while i'll give the floor to mr aki fatoki and um, for him to take the floor and express himself please listen attentively Enjoy the session, note down your questions, and we'll ask it of him, and he would give us the best answers that can enable all farmers can scale and grow and become profitable in the nearest future. And so with those few short words, I would like to introduce Mr. Aki Fatoki. Are you here, sir? Mr. Aki Fatoki, you can unmute yourself.
Mr. Aki Fatoki, can you hear me? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you so much. Hey, sorry, can you hear me, please? The network is very good on my own. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear, right? Yes, good afternoon. Yes. My name is uh, Dr. Akinfasoki. I'm a country veterinarian. So, um, the past couple of weeks, uh, you guys have been I've missed them with my bad network. Um, even though for me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir, we can. Hello. Yes, we can. Hello. We can hear you, sir. Hello, sir. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello, sir. Can you hear us? Hello. Can anyone hear me? Hello, sir. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Hello, sir. We can hear you, sir. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Aki, can you hear us? Hello. Can you kindly give us a minute, Hello? please, as we sort out whatever network or technical issues going on. Thank you very much for your patience.
I from everyone. We can hear you, sir. Please do go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah. So good evening. My name is Sir. Hello. Can everyone hear Doctor? Yes, we can hear him loud and clear. Can everyone hear Dr. Aki? Yes, we can hear him. So good evening, good evening, everybody. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying earlier, I'm Dr. I've been working in the post industry for the past four years now. Uh, more specifically, broiler. So today, then this evening, I'm giving a lecture on. Hello. Doctor, we can hear you, doctor. Just go ahead. Yes, yeah. So, um, good evening. I, I prepared a slide um, for, for the afternoon. I didn't know I was going to talk about for all food production. So, probably let me just share. Let me just share the one you need. To so, if you can view, if you can view the slide, it makes it better. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's fine. Sorry. Sorry, I'm having a lot of problems with my device. Okay, I think it's okay like this. Okay. Yes, so. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to show you a document. But well, this is basically for poultry and for layer production. So, probably some other time, I'll do some tips for broiler. Uh, Oh, sorry. No, no, it's not a potato. Um, so probably I might be showing you my screen here. Um, so let me just start with the production. We all know what. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, you can see this. Hello. We can see your screen, but are you, is, are you, okay, are you using your phone to join in? Yes, my phone, yes, my phone. 
my my I don't know you won't be on my phone yeah. having problems, so I cannot join in video. Oh wow! Well, if it's going to be still. I think we have to put the camera up in the camera right now. So, so everyone can see. No. Um, yeah, so no problem. Just time, you don't start anything in school. There are a lot of things to consider. It's, it's, not, it's, not, just, it's not just that. Um, I probably have the knowledge of safety. My, my parents do safety. So I have someone that's doing it. So, you know, it's bad experiences. Sorry, the network. Okay, I think I'm back. Kindly hold on, everyone. We are um, we are having a technical issues in the next five minutes, three to five minutes. We'll be back online. Sorry about that. Hello, so sorry. So sorry for the breaking transmission. Yes, as I was saying earlier. I'm changing the platform to the So we can all have the availability for it. As I was saying earlier, 
Gucci production is just is just basically more than I have an idea. The other things involve capital, expertise, uh, uh, vaccination, you no. Know? You still need you still need the help of the vet to support you, no matter the knowledge you have. So because hello. 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 Hello, yeah, hey, yeah. So, um, I think firstly, I'm going to talk about layer production. So, in, um, in poultry, raising, raising egg laying beds for purpose of commercial production is your purpose, your purpose of layer production. They are to be raised from when they are people. So there are different reports coming out about um, productions of layers of layers in Nigeria, like in far back in 1980, to the first data available. But in 2020, in 2020, across Africa, we are the second largest um, producer of, of, of layers of chicken actually. So mostly well I make up for like 71 percent of the population in Nigeria. And Many things, nine point something percent goes to the air. So, right now, hello, can you hear me? So the screen sharing is on now. So we produce about 21 billion of eggs in Nigeria yearly. This is not enough for our needs, but uh, we only produce 30 percent of what we consume. In the country, the remaining 70% is offset by import and all of that stuff. So, there is a viable market in layers production in, in Nigeria. I don't know, most people don't go for layers, they are both to go for boilers. I don't know, probably because it's easier to, it's easier and faster to raise them and then get them access to, to, to market easily. So, basically, So basically, before you start getting your, before you start getting your, um, your, your, your base, your base, your layers, you have to get into a variety of access. Where you know, the actual area that is known for, that is known for excellence, not the one that you, that you get, and then after you see, you start having problems. Okay, so yeah, so get your kids from Africa. So because they are known for excellence. So you get the first thing, after getting them, just give them six and then enough water. Water, water is very important to layer. So if you if you use water supply, then it's going to affect everything about them. From egg production to weight gain and everything, it's going to affect everything about them. So give them start giving them water as early as possible, and then mix caution, six and caution in their water. Then feed them very well. Feed them their their required food. So layers start laying eggs commercially from 18 weeks and above, you know, until 18 weeks and above, and then continue to lay to almost 80 weeks. So it depends, depending on how on how they produce well, they can produce a kg of eggs. Why consume why consume around 2 kg of feed, 25 kg of feed? They are doing it depends on how fertile they are. So yeah. Also to be facilitated. So basically, it depends on on the system you want to be for wearing your bed. But most likely, you probably should use the same layer system. This will be made most likely into a semi-automatic system. So you just have to, just have to like, I think in, in the document, 
there's an estimate of how those facilities are made, and then you know the whole process about how we yes, okay, exactly the whole process about how, how to do about everything, and then the estimate, cost price estimate for it. So to the main edge production, we so we need the first between which when you start producing eggs. Around 40% of them sell in the eggs, while the other is selling and consuming seeds and both. When they now reach like 30 weeks, egg production will be at optimal, optimal point. So from there, end point, then can increase in significant way. Including the weight and size of the eggs, you also increase to their like 60 to 70 weeks, where, where, where the optimum production is ensured. So um, I think in, the, in this uh, business plan that I set that this year for 1,000 days, we have the potential to produce like 31 feet minimum. Over one year period. So that's about 10 k eggs of egg trade in a year for just 1,000 days. So Yeah, so for feeding also, I think I have to have everything covered for you. So I think the feeding is which a necessary supplement. So just just make sure you get it from them. And then they will help you with everything from from trusting your cheeks, your dead cheeks to feed, vaccinations, drugs, and everything. Just just get it through them. So water management system, basically, I, I said it uh, earlier, the most important thing, the most important thing is, is water for bread, is water, layers of bread, they, they have to have enough water. So make sure you are giving them clean, fresh drinking water, not just probably something from the dam or, or the river. If you are not sure of the, of, um, of the, of the quality of the water, you can use it aqua. Aquifer. So the water, how they drink water depends on the weather. In, in, in hot weather, they take a lot of water. When in cold weather, the, the, the water intake is big, slowly, um, slowly. Also, vaccination, as I said earlier, um, Africa is going to help you with vaccination. Any vaccine, any type of vaccine you need for your layers, just put them, even for broilers, and all type of bread, they, they have it. So ensure timely vaccination. Ensure you have all, all your vaccination done. It's quite important because this will increase their resistance to the disease. And low mortality rate will give you more production, more profit, more production, more quality of goods. So, on sales strategy, this is where most farmers, I think most farmers, think like really need help in, 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 in getting their, their eggs to the final consumer or final buyers. So you just have to develop different types of sales techniques for you, for you to sell your eggs. Um, sometimes you can you can make your eggs, you can make your eggs for home delivery, you know, for people for people don't want to go out and get them. So you just make sure you're able to you're, you're able to deliver promptly and also make it at competitive rate. Your eggs should be at competitive rate. Not very not very expensive or or very or or at the lesser price or at the lesser end of prices. So just make it up, just price them competitively according to your market. So you can get more sales because the whole, the whole essence of going into their production is to get more sales. If you sell eggs, if you can't sell them, they're, they're going to be exposed. So make sure you price your, your eggs uh, competitively. So um, I, I drew up a financial institution for someone to start with 1,000 layers. Like 1,000 sheets. Who wants to start a who wants to start a layer production? Who wants to start layer production 1,000 sheets? So I do have a price in financial and cost rate. So for people who don't have, like if you have your equipment set, you can just you can just you can just cross those ones out. So like core production in layer, feeding, mix, vaccination, and then miscellaneous. So you have to account for miscellaneous. Miscellaneous can be part of the drugs. You, know, you have to account for how much I need to spend on drugs too. You take the come down with any infection. So we can not figure out 10% of the old of the old stuff. Yeah. So just calculate for, for the number of people you need. For, for the vaccines you need. Feeding. Feeding for 17 feet. I think uh, an Africa should be covered on this. 
and then just upload your Instagram account with this link. If you are starting 1,000, just know, just have it to add back of your mind. And for this initiation price, you, know, you, you are going to spend like 5 million in a year for it. And then your projected income. For, for you to get optimal results, you have to make sure everything goes like goes in order. You have to prevent you have to prevent the your vaccination has to be up to speed. So you but you don't want to have a situation where your 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 birds are not producing eggs or, or producing or producing like the way you want them to produce, the way they're supposed to produce normally. So this is like a projection uh, thought for it. So with, for, for someone starting with 1,000 beds in a year, you, you can be expected to make a sale of 20 million if your beds produce optimally, which you can, which you can, be, which you can easily fit to. So ensure they produce optimally. With that, if your cost if your operating cost is five million, then you make a profit of twenty million in a year. You be left with a, with a profit of twelve million. And and like and what I said also, it depends on how much you pay your workers. For one thousand, for one thousand year from you might need you might need to have two workers or then you manage your fund. So it depends on how you price your salary or how or, or the or the end of or the place you look at more. If you can get them on competitive basis, better. So it's going to put out your profit of 12 million. That's for that for um we are so if you have any question on that, I, I think I can take questions on Leah, but why why do you to go last one? Have it in mind. This is this is the first um okay, thank you, Mr. Fatoki. Mr. Fato, you can you hear me? Hello. Yes, yes, I can. Go on. Hello. Thank you so much for the presentation. It was um, wonderful, and um, we really, really appreciate the time that you have taken to prepare this slide. Um, we we'll make it available to as many members that are on YouTube listening to us right now. Um, in the meantime, for our folks on YouTube, um, we're so sorry for some of these technical glitches, and um, we are grateful that uh, Mr. Akin was able to deliver a wonderful pitch. So uh, my colleague, Finn, will be taking questions from the chat on YouTube, and um, she'll be asking them to you, Mr. Akin. Yeah, so, um, so, Finn, over to you. Any other questions from the YouTube channel? Just one very short question. Um, they are very grateful for the wonderful presentation. A number of people are more concerned about broiler and um, you know profitability for a broiler farm, and um, that's that's what many people want to know. Okay, yeah, thank you. So let's so let's get started with the broiler part. Hello, can you all hear me? Okay. So when starting a broiler farm, broiler management is it's man, it's good management. You are, you are going to make a lot of profit on broilers. It depends on just your management, your management of the farm. So basically, what you need in good broiler is to, as I might think after March, also help in sorting of they will keep the broiler. Okay, so, so I think you can get reliable to and it's great performance, good performance on them. So what you need to get started with Joyla is, is effective like housing. First of all, before you before you get me, where are you going to put where are you going to put them? The housing has to be very clean, everything has to be set you know, free from infection. If it's done probably a bad thing before, you have to clean it all over to make sure previous like previous rules won't like won't occur won't come up again. So basically, in, in why? So basically, in, in, for broilers, just need to just need to have good management to get started with. So first off, 
cut your teeth from Afrimax. Afrimax, they will get a reliability. It depends on how much you want to get started. 1,000 and above. Um, um, I really don't have to cut my analysis price of 20 and above. I'm going to explain it to you as, as I said. So I, I hope you all follow me. So for broiler, the first thing to get your wood shaving down in your farm. I don't know, it depends on how you want to give it automatic system you are for feeding and, and water, for, like for drinking system and water for, and, and for feed rather. If you can afford automatic system, that means you are, you are, you are going to go on in that scale. But for what most farmers do, it's mostly manual. So make sure you have enough manual feeders and, and drinkers. I for me, the ratio I usually use is a bed, like um, one feeder to 20 beds, one drinker to 20 beds. With that, you are ensured of optimal performance. You know, because they all like managing in this company. I've been to farm where they use one to 100, like one to 200 feet. And then they expect maximum performance. It's not possible, but because those, those beds are not feeding up to normal. They are not feeding as they should. So basically, just ensure just ensure that you have your, like you have your, um, you have everything you want to do in place. Feeders, drinkers, outing, everything has to be in place. Water to stay. You have to have a tank in your farm. Like you're, you're supposed to be. What? Okay, yeah. So, so you need to have a tank in 24 hour water supply in your farm. So for your feet. Since you are going to start with starter, or to starter, you can get them from Afrima. They sell starter feed, very good ones that will, that will ensure optimal growth of your feed, of your, um, of your bird. They also sell battery cages in case you want to use cages, and also drinkers. You can, you can get them from Afrima. They, they all have everything in place. So, to get started, when, when you get the bed, place them immediately on water. Place them on, on water immediately. Uh, at, at my farm, farm where, where I work, we use iodine in our water so you, so you can get them on. You can add, you can add some iodine inside their water for the day or two. Then give them feed. Give them feed as soon as, as, soon as possible to start out. So from there, ensure they are eating optimally, you know. Um, I, I think you should have you should, um, you should have a like a feed um, this thing, like a feed table for them. Like this, this is the amount of feed they will consume for they want for this. So like the way, like if they like as much as they are going older, they need to consume corresponding feed that will ensure proper growth. So make sure you make make sure you are giving them the feed basically, and then water. Then vaccination is quite important. Start your vaccination very early. Afrimash is going to help you with vaccine. Start Start with, start with NG vaccine as soon as early as four or five days. I, I like giving my, my, uh, my bed vaccine very early. So start with placental uh, vaccination. You, know, you can drop a vaccination plan or schedule according to how your doctor wants it. So just throw it up for, for six weeks. If you, are, if you are going to do it for six weeks. So yeah, so for effective breeding, just make sure you have like if you plant for six weeks. And if anything happens, you don't really allow your bed to be more than 40 days before you have it. Hopefully they will go to like they will go to and the the optimal weight you want them to go to. So apart from feeding, water system, housing, housing must be free of wood and seeds, snakes and all of that stuff. Make sure, make sure you disinfect before even placing your bed. That's that's important because you have to start you have to start on a good note and make sure. Hey, one, one thing I'm leaving out, I'm very sorry, is heat. Make sure the heat is enough for your bed. Especially the first test heat, thirty-five degrees. Have, have a thermometer. Have a thermometer in your farm. Just don't use. Just don't say this place is hot enough. You might, you might not really like know how the temperature is. So just make sure you have a thermometer in your farm. Make sure make sure they have enough heat. And immediately in the farm. Make sure it's enough. After a moment, I will leave. And whenever the, like, the temperature is down, 
sure, make sure you actually know if you actually, like for most farmers they use their coal for their for their bed in the early days. So make, make sure the charcoal pot, like the charcoal supply is enough, it burns a lot of this and not just um, not just wasting you know, all those ones that you do uh, another, another thing that can affect the respiratory system of bed. Make sure you are getting quality charcoal for your beds. So once there is enough food for them, feed is okay. What are I think you are going to have a start and then vaccination. Like I said, have a vaccination plan for your for your farm. Have a vaccination plan for your farm as early as possible. Not just don't just do vaccination anyhow. So have it on have it on hand only. So also for if you are going into further production, there are some there, there are a lot of metrics you have to know. But you don't want to run at loss. So, so you need to be calculating the feed consume, consumed by your by your um, by your flock per bed. You should, you should be calculating it daily. You should, you should have a standard feed that you, should, that you are going to feed, and then you should make sure they are they are meeting the corresponding weights for the feed consumed. So draw draw everything up. I think you can find some important documents online. I'm I'm sorry, I don't I, I have I, I don't have any on me right now. But I have one that we have that I could have just applied this here, but I don't have it. So make sure you have your FTR. The, the most important thing in in, in is your FTR. If your FTR is very high, you are running at a lot. You are running at a lot. So it's it's your it's like feed consumption rate. So the feed consumed to be the weight, um, like appropriate weight, that uh, you have at a particular week or so. So, so when you start, uh, like after feeding for a while, and then, then yeah, the major thing for for when they were young, when those days are still within the first few weeks, make sure the feed, the feed they have, I have high protein level. That's that's quite important. Or, um, when they are getting older, can 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 what because you can optimize for energy, but at, at a very young age, optimize for, for protein in their feet. I think after much is going to set you, is going to set you all that to start a grow and finish at the store at, at affordable prices. So, the basic thing you have to do, um, I think, is just be measuring your, your feet consumption for each day. In our farm, we measure it for each day. So and, and not very appropriate weight for each day. And make sure your beds are not going past this weight. But if they go past that, there's a high probability that you, are, you might be running at a loss. Because on cost of feed consumption, you know, and vaccines and other stuff might be on like on cost analysis, you might be running at a loss, at a loss. So just make sure you do the old like you are, like you like you're able to show them do the old text for two days to your maximum. So with that, I, I, I can assure you, you are, you are going to make a lot of profit in your life. If you have any question, um, you can, you can yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Akin. We are very grateful for a wonderful presentation. Kindly give me a few minutes to curate any uh, other questions. A question, sir. Which breed is the best for hot weather? Cob 500, Habo Eka, or Ross 308?
Hello, yes. <laughs> so, the question you asked now, personally, I, I recommend that, that I can vouch for the, for the performance. So, I, I, I recommend them. Personally. Second question. Good evening. How do I get feed on credit for 300 breads from DOC to point of lay? Um, okay, the, I believe the answer for that would be to register for AFRIMASH membership so that you can get access to the funding from our financial partners. And that way you would have your bed, you can get your beds on credit and then you pay back after um, a certain period of time. Kindly visit www.afrimash.com forward slash membership to register for membership. I, I believe the link is posted right above that particular comment. So visit afrimash.com. Just click on the link that has been um, posted there and register for Afrimash membership. That will be all the questions for, for now. Okay, that'll be all questions for now. Let's go back to um, Mr. Collins, over to you. Um, thank you so much. Um, Are you here, Mr. Collins? Um, thank you, Mr. Aki. Yes, I'm here, I can hear you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah, I said thank you so much for um, co-hosting this event. Um, Mr. Akin, thank you so much for coming in and for responding to our questions. Um, we really appreciate it. And to our customers and to our attendees, um, D Farms too from the Telegram group that was able to join in. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, please, this is not um, the end per se. That is what I mean is if you still have questions, please kindly call us or send us an email or go to our membership plan and we would respond to you accordingly. Uh, we would like to use the opportunity to say thank you for everyone for attending. To everyone that attended via YouTube, thank you so much for your patience with our technical glitches. Thank you so much for your questions and thank you for listening in. Um, we we'll look forward to more of this where we we'll bring in resource people to tell us how to make farms profitable, how to, depending on the nature of the farm, especially for poultry farmers, um, how to um, take care of, depending on you know um, your farm, depending on um, the pain points for all attendees that are today. A um, couple of times we'll be sending out surveys to know the topics that you are most interested in, that you want to learn about, that you want to know, and um, we'll find a resource or one or two resource persons to come and um, talk to Ross. In the meantime, um, the next webinar coming up, just to give you a brief highlight, we will have a um, representative from another um, fintech organization who are open to microcredit schemes to farmers. And um, so be on the lookout because um, as time goes on, as part of, you know, we'll have a resource person to discuss an issue and then we'll have a fintech organization that is offering access to loans, microcredit scheme. The idea is to expand, you know, our learning process, our horizon to serve you better, who are our customers of AfriMash. And so with that, we'll bring this um, webinar to a close and say bye-bye and uh, good night. Thank you so much and thank you for attending. We we'll look forward to seeing you on our next webinar. Bye bye. Finn, are you still here? Yes, yes. everyone is still here. Yes, we are. Oh, okay. Here. Okay. okay, all right, no problem. Um, don't edit it. Don't edit it. So, okay. Any are there any challenges? Any any questions? Any more questions? Yes, but we are turning to them. Questions. We are turning to them via chat.
Oh, okay. Okay. 